Hey, what's up, Scalers? Teddy Duchamp here. All right, all right. This is it. The final reveal of the Kinetic F16C. Had a good time with this one. Everything went together pretty good. Um, there's a couple little areas, but nothing too major. Uh, everything fit well. Great kit. I uh, would highly recommend this one. I think you can pick this one up from... You can find it for 39 but some places sell it for 49 but you can get the, you know, it's fairly reasonable for a an excellent kit. Uh, I did a couple aftermarkets. I did the Master AOA probes, and I was going to do the uh, probe on the front there. But it didn't fit, so I had to use the kit one. And then I used the Edward, or Edward seat. Ejection seat, so that turned out pretty cool. Um, I didn't use the AIM-120 or... The AIM 9s, I borrowed them from other kits. I think I got that AIM 9L or M there from the Ming kit, and then that one over there, the AIM 9X, I got that from the Tamiya uh, F35 Lightning kit. But everything else is out of the box. The uh, GBU 12s and the GBU 24 over there are pretty good, they were right out the box. Um, I ripped off the static dischargers, but I got them put on. Like I said, I've been a couple times I cut up some sewing needles and grinded them with my Dremel until they were perfectly square like on both sides and then I measured them out to the same length and put them on and then I did it back here too on the tail but I left them on. I left the kit ones on the uh, horizontal stabs. Um, the exhaust back there, it's not great detail but the, the can up here is really nice. I thought it was excellent, excellent detail on that can. The decals are great, all the decals went down great. Um, the colors I used was Vallejo Camouflage Gray. And then on the front I used Vallejo Aggressor Gray. Um, and then on the bottom with like the pylons and the tanks and stuff like that, I used um, Light Ghost Gray from Vallejo, or Vallejo, however you want to say it. I'm cool with that. Um, did this one with the radar open showing the the radar so all that turned out pretty cool um what else oh yeah i tinted the canopies on this particular bird the 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 canopies may not be tinted but i thought it was pretty cool and i've always said like these are your models you can you can do them however you want no model is a hundred percent accurate because that's just the way they are. No, you know, you're not going to get a hundred percent accurate kit. So you can do them how you want them. Um, got the little targeting pod there, and then I used the sniper pod over here too. So all that turned out pretty cool. Show you guys the bottom real quick. Hopefully, it'll rip nothing off. Yeah, there's the bottom. There's the bottom of the sniper pod. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I would highly recommend this kit if you're looking for a 16 to build. I mean, it's it's up there with the Tamiya kit. This guy here, the CJ Block 50. It's up there as far as detail wise, and I mean the fit was great. I thought everything fit great. So if you're looking for a nice F16 to buy. I mean, those are relatively affordable, too, the CJ ones. I think they're about 48 50 bucks, somewhere in there, delivered. You can get it off Amazon. If you got Prime, you can get free delivery. But if not, I don't even think that... I think it's free delivery anyway. But, yeah, we'll be getting into something new pretty soon. So, look out for some of those videos. And until then, here she is. The Falcon. Alright guys, bye.